Alright guys, so today I stumble upon a really interesting post on Reddit.com and since it's so interesting, I want to share with you guys right now. And guys, without any further delays, let's get started. And this starts off with, the only way that you wish back Planet Vegeta is by having Champa use the Super Dragon Balls to wish them back. As a thank you for Beerus for wishing back Universe 6's Earth and also the Universe 17 for their performance in the Tremor of Power. The only real question is, should Champa be under some mistaken assumption that this will somehow be appreciated by either Beerus or at least the Earth's Saiyans, Vegeta and Goku, and get upset when everyone responds, it is not what he expected. No one says thanks to him but in return, he gets a negative response. They hate his wish, they hate what he has done. Or is Shampo aware that he's basically just created a giant ball of conflict for everyone? Because Freeze is certainly not going to take the resurrection of Planet Vegeta well, and will undoubtedly do what he did in the past, that it destroy Planet Vegeta once more, only this time bigger and grander, and ideally in front of Goku and Vegeta's faces. And alternatively, if Frieza plays it smart, then he could tell Vegeta what Beerus did in the past. That in the past, while Frieza was making his plans to destroy planet Vegeta, Beerus was the one that gave him authorization to destroy planet Vegeta. Beerus was the one that gave him permission to eradicate all the Saiyans. Now what's interesting about this is how Goku and Vegeta react to the fact that all this time they've been friends with someone known as Beerus and he was the one in the past that said it was okay to destroy planet Vegeta. He was the one that gave Freeze the permission to pretty much make the entire Saiyan race go extinct. The Saiyan race that Vegeta was destined to rule. That was taken away from him. Now guys, the only thing that I don't see happening from here is basically Frieza getting mad that the Saiyans are back. Just maybe he'll be mad a little bit, but not as much as he was before. See guys, destroying Planet Vegeta is one of Frieza's biggest achievements of his life. And in the past, the main reason why he destroyed Planet Vegeta, that is because he was scared. Scared that one day, eventually, a Super Saiyan or a Super Saiyan God would eventually emerge out of the Saiyan race and they will take him down. That was his fear. And that is why he destroyed Planet Vegeta. But even after destroying Planet Vegeta, there were some Saiyans left. Goku Vegeta, and on Planet Namek, Frieza's greatest fear became a reality. Goku became a Super Saiyan. And since the Planet Namek saga, we have went through a lot, the Tremor of Power and many other things along with it. So guys, right now Frieza would not really care too much about the Saiyans coming back, because his fear already came true. Someone already became a Super Saiyan, and right now Goku and Vegeta have the power to easily stop Frieza. But guys, as I have said before, destroying Planet Vegeta is one of Frieza's biggest achievements. Achievements, and Frieza would not want his achievements to go away. So guys, if Planet Vegeta is brought back, Frieza will most likely destroy Planet Vegeta again. Why? So that he could say that he destroyed them once again. And guys, in the past, the Saiyans did not like working for King Cold. And especially, they did not like working for Frieza. The Saiyans were pretty much slaves to Frieza. And now if the Saiyans are back, they would want to take Frieza down. And Frieza would never let that happen. And before the Saiyans could even make their move, Frieza would take them out, he would destroy them once again. But right now the question that I have for you guys is, do you guys think that Goku and Vegeta will let Frieza destroy planet Vegeta once again? How would Vegeta react to it? Because the Saiyans are his people. Anyways you guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Do let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, guys, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a blessed day, everyone.